What's up guys? This is the Rifeman and I am back to bring you the next episode of my Empire Total War. Let's play as the Osman Empire. So to round off happened last time, we recaptured Baghdad and we've done an absolutely smashing job kicking the Persians out. I'm already four turns away from fire by rank, which is something I'm very much looking forward to. Lots of traits and series gained. You probably don't help because you're now minus two happiness for the lower classes. But our generals are becoming great. Baltachi Mehmet and Mihat Damat. So you're, yeah, you're becoming pretty good. And you're only 44. I'll say you're only 44. You're 44. You've got 36. You should be here for a long time. A soldier from birth. An eye for trajectory. Corporal in gold braid. These guys are doing... Through War of the Persians, they're doing a fantastic job. But I'm anticipating these guys marching down here to retake Baghdad. Annoyingly. But let's hit end turn. See what happens. Delhi cavalry are moving up to reinforce that, up, which may end up going north to attack Azerbaijan, then eventually swinging west back to Georgia, while our main army continues to drive east into Persia. Hopefully, taking the city of Esfahan. Then eventually, I'll be having a front line with the Indian factions, where I'll be looking to build. Probably some fortifications, because I'm not interested in, a, in in expanding in India just yet. I'd like to develop a lot more of a technological advantage before I do that. Instead, I'm eyeing gains in... See? Called it. <laughs> That's why I cancelled building this building up here. Yeah, they have it temporarily. They will not have it for long. One army can swing back and secure Baghdad. My army that's currently near Baghdad and pushing east can continue to move east. Up right now, things are good. Let's make sure I mark this episode off my sheet. Awesome. Army destroyed. Yeah, that's my Baghdad garrison. But these guys are just going to go and... Yeah, just hold on to it for now. Don't worry about taking it back. As these guys... They may actually hold for a turn and replenish. They're within range of Esfahan, and that's all I need to know. They block these guys from doing anything sneaky. So let's spend some cash. Let's upgrade Pasha's Palace in Ankara, because we're suffering from... Um, clamor, a clamour for reform. Yeah, we lost both dead. We recruited Feline, Musketeers, and Anatolia. Um, actually, that's one thing I meant to research. Um, what's the best for garrisoning for the Ottomans? So, one sec, guys. I'm going to go check that out. Because I've been I meant to do it when I stopped recording the last episode. So, just a sec, guys. Okie dokie, guys. Um, so, apparently, no real units provide a garrison bonus for the Ottomans, like. Dragoons do, or like some of the Russian units do. Um, but Feline Musketeers seem to be doing okay for now. Okay, so I want to recruit some Musketeers to send to the front, ideally. How many of those can I recruit? An almost infinite number. Okay, I want to recruit them to the front, but I also want to check. Aha, I do need to still build my Grand Admiralty. It's my main priority, along with everything else. Um, let's upgrade the tenanted farms, let's upgrade the farm here in Macedonia. Awesome. And the main show is still over here driving east. So these guys are going to briefly retake Baghdad. Actually, can we just attack it now? No, I'm replenishing all the time. Yeah. I may as well just hold on while they replenish. Burn another end turn towards fire rank. So I want to see what Britain's army is doing in the Austrian territories. It looks like it previously yeah, it had hunkered down and fortified its position and it wasn't continuing to push on. We have a force nearby to intercept it if it becomes a risk, but it looks like they want to stop. It makes me wonder if they were actually in an assault for... Whoops, sorry, my microphone fell off its thing. 
if they were an assault against another position, but they got repelled and they're effectively retreating through allied territory. So let's see how the Persians react. There's not really a lot they can do. We've destroyed a lot of their armies. We are about to lay siege to their capital. Yeah, they, they shouldn't be able to advance across this river. I don't think. But once I take Baghdad, I'm going to recruit a small garrison. Just hold on to it in case those guys try to outflank me and do some raiding. And you also want to go to Azerbaijan and knock out those pesky Georgians. Yep, so they've held on to it. They shouldn't. Oh, it looks like they can actually cross here, which is a bit frustrating. But these guys have currently got them in their sights, so I'm going to do a little bit of replenishment. Okay, let's, before I forget, Grand Admiralty built. Let's also upgrade a major fishery, mining yield, iron mine. I want to go for a base mansion. More oppression, more income. It's probably a good idea to think that's the top tier, really. Realistically, um, I know I can build a Pasha's Palace, can't I? Forgot about that. Yep, you're still chilling out here, Mr. Russell. Still need to build something in Elat, but Jerusalem's pretty low down on the list of priorities. Um, Okie dokie. Two more turns till end turn and metal roads, which for us is huge. Because our territory is so big, if you want to redeploy units and build new armies and so on, we're going to need as good as infra as good infrastructure as we possibly can, at least in the Middle East. Not so much in the Istanbul area, because all that will really do is funnel enemy armies towards us faster. I would west to go and take Malta. Was that another army? I didn't, didn't get a good look at it. Oh, what to do, aren't you, Persia? Yep, yeah, you've fallen back. <laughs> yeah, I think the AI is really struggling what to do because it looks like we've broken the back of their forces and they're desperately trying to cobble together some sort of uh there's some sort of force to repel me but we are within striking range of your capital and i am mildly surprised i've not seen a peace declaration attempt because i'm more than happy to sit here and wait because i'm right every turn you guys are depleting we are growing in strength Ooh, hello So do I attack this column and draw all of these guys in? I think I do. But let's do some economy investing first. Let's build this in Jerusalem because at the very least this will gain us some, some more income from Jerusalem. And let's leave the frontier farm for now. Okay, instead let's upgrade this trade port. Let's grow. Ankara's income. The government repression is going to go up. Okie dokie, and you are eight turns away from Batman being rebuilt. A new port in Greece. I might actually upgrade that first. You're growing a half percent a turn. I mean, I've already got. A shipyard that I don't or don't really use, so I may as well go for a fishery, and then upgrade the vineyard here. Yeah, why not? Adds region wealth, increases population growth rate. Yep, there's a farm upgrades. Okay, do let's take this arm into Mimat Danat, and then let's hit you maybe to the south. Move here. 
and do that. We call in at least for these five. Let's do it. So it looks like some sort of massive cult stretched out on the march. But I wanted to hit them from one direction so that all of their armies would come in from... I think this might be this turn actually we get... Might be this turn we actually get um, fire by rank. Which would be pretty cool. Okay, so let's deploy some units here. Let's deploy some Philaene units out on the flank with some Israelis. Awesome. Actually, that's one artillery piece in the line. Probably deploy one back here to lob round shot over our heads. It's it is you guys here. So the other flank, deploy our other. Let's get units. Mix up our melee infantry for once. That camel's fine out on that flank. This camel's fine out on this flank. General in the centre. Who's okay? Who's okay? So they, they are coming in from a bit of a funny angle. Okay, let's do something like this. Probably want to push you guys over like this. Well, it looks like they are charging. Move you guys back up here, move my camels up here. This whole flank could probably stand to do something like this instead. Push up a bit more aggressively. This is not bad dervishes. Yeah, there's a big old block of troops. Lots of Israeli units. You guys start pounding this central position, not almost killing your other. Maybe go straight for the desert camel unit. These guys are going to still come up against. There's only three of them. Not much of a reinforcing army compared to these guys. Let's run those guys. Let's instead get these guys to run up here and support the centre. These camels may actually want to stay out on this flank. they might so let's put these guys into square formation we are going to clip them there you go it's probably going to be another push rather than route push back rather than route Yeah. 
become second daughter and first daughter, they've recruited more. See, they don't have bayonets for their altar. See, they've not got them equipped. Not like ours do. Okay, let's send my camels to go take out their bowmen in the rear. Artillery. Get ready to blast them with a round shot. Let's get my infantry around the flank. Desperately shifting altar in response. Redirect the Bashis to go hit the Dervishes. Pull my camels back. Instead, look like they're going to go take a bit more of a conventional direction towards my main battle line. So, run the camels up. Let's charge this already with my camels and let's. Run my janissaries to get them into the mix. Charge the other auto with my bashies. Keep the pressure on, especially as they're already wavering. Charge my bashies onto the other Israeli unit. Services of his camel nomads. Instead, run these Falini musketeers over here to ready to charge the back into the back of these. This auto unit. No fire well not recommended. Gun him straight in, turn off cannon fire. My Sarays engage their Sarays. You guys will chase after them. Actually, you go and engage this unit because they're weak. General in, killed the enemy general. 
third Auter about to get a much more powerful Auter charge into them. so much. Absolutely continue. Bring these camel nomads down to engage that infantry. I'm still killing them. You guys may as well chase after them because I'm not sure I'm going to direct my... Okay, you kill the pikes. You continue to chase these guys down. These guys are going to rout, they're going to rout. Finally killed their general. We did catch up to this auto unit. The only guys left are this Israeli unit over here. Run! Good, no one died in that charge, but there they go. Decisive victory. So that was a good opportunity. Wipe out a bunch of units in transit. Almost all of them, in fact. 3,000. Three quarters of those units are dead. Destroyed. Routed. Lots of very poorly equipped units. Let's move in. Damn, I was kind of hoping they would try and make us attack them. Yep, that was Greece. One more turn. One more turn to fire rank. Fire by rank. And then one more turn till metalled roads. Got to be careful with Austria because they may declare on us at any moment. But that's not for us to worry about because right now we are doing very well. There was a period I thought this would become very drawn out, but we had a couple of exceptionally effective rounds against the Persians. And then I think we broke the back of their armies. Are they going to sally out from Baghdad? Yeah, if they want to go out and try and relieve this. I'll march my army past the lot and bring you to heal around Esfahan. Because it looks like they are trying to avoid me. And we do want quicklime before we have anything to do with fighting the Indians. Because look at that. I say look at that, as if it's surprising the entirety of India can generate one stack. No, but that's a that's a lot of troops. Yep, raid right away, my friend. Fire by rank, yes. Increases our upkeep costs. Um, oh, hello. Yazid de Fat. Plus one navy. Uh, plus one management, plus one management, plus one management. Minus one to treasury. So he's six base. He's not good for treasury. He's frugal and thrifty, and he's um, agrarian. But he might be good at his justice. Especially as you've got minus two happiness to lower classes, so I might get rid of you. And let's see what that does to this. And happiness due to people in government. It's not gone away. But we've got fire by rank. So Kayseri, don't go for carbines. Instead, go for European doctrine. It's a long way away, but it's worth doing. And let's keep Konya going down. Get explosive shells so we can research great arsenal so we can try and get down to quick lime shells. And do we build roads? I think we do. But it's all about picking the right places. Or do I go for more grades like buildings government buildings we can build two government buildings per turn it's 
especially some of these regions don't actually have top government buildings in them. Leaguey of Iron Mine, Fishing Fleet. Mm, don't upgrade a drill score there yet. I'm more inclined to do government buildings, investments, just for now, because right now actually we don't need to worry about redeploying our troops. Okay, you guys can do a yeah, you guys can fully replenish. Let's put Esfahan under siege. Obviously, we're not going to attack because I don't want to attack those damn mortars. So, you pick new siege, new research targets. We're not going to be able to trade with the Italian states because they don't like us. Awesome. Oh, yeah, and I keep forgetting about our position up here. Could get some ships and sell them out to trade regions to gain goodies especially as we're not at war with many great powers so we will have a fairly laid-back time might be a good idea i forgot i so far completely forgot i traded iceland for bosnia i've really not made any use out of it yet Suppose I would man, the Marath has pushed back pushed the back that Mughal stack. Um yeah, I think I'm just not ready to expand the naval domain yet, but I have no naval tech at all. Haha, <laughs> it looks like Persia wants to wants to do some damage to me, but I'm afraid you will have a hard time of it. The Baghdad garrison is sallying. Apparently it's 50-50, so let's fight it. We are just going to... Well, we've broken the back of the Persians. And this is without um, advanced infantry doctrines. And for the most part, without the bulk of the heavy lifting. God, that's, this is a funky deployment zone. Okay. So I'm staying back. Because mortars are a thing. If, mortars, if the mortars are deployed forward, we will also push forward. Looks like our infantry does not deploy siege works. Uh, lots of our bashi bazooks and so on do, but to be honest, I don't really think it's going to be necessary. Camels can be up on the hill. Then my newly recruited Mamelukes. Let's have a look at them. Yeah, they're pretty good. General in the centre. So have they? No, they've not deployed them. Well, no, they've not. Oh God, are they actually? That's firing at will, but who are you firing at? Probably at this wing. Mainly, I just want to keep this army intact so I can send it north quickly. It's not that I'm particularly bothered about losing men, I just want... I she took out one of their mortar crews. So they're still firing, but they should probably be landing short. Yeah, they are. To be honest, I should probably just attack them. The army is so weak. Um, but yeah, I do, I, I do want to keep my army intact, although... Okay, Mamelukes. Let's redeploy my artillery. Not my artillery, my Mamelukes. They've got their first mission. It's 
snipe those guns. Now the guns are being sniped. I do not like their formation, I must admit. Speeding up times I want my cavalry to actually take the mortars out. Oh, that's the general as well. Delicious. Push up. Keep my camels moving. These guys are going to be very tired. Because really what I wanted to do was, what I was tempted to do was just storm them with melee troops. Mamelukes against the Desert Warriors, because my guys are going to come within range. Getting involved now. some random damage. Damn, things have gone. The morale is just shot to hell. Throw our infantry into position. Run the general in. The big Hail Mary. You guys want to get shot from the, in the flank? Yeah, let's speed up time because this is so done. The dervishes tried to charge us and that didn't work. Turn off fire by rank. Pushes these guys are firing by rank now. Well, they were. Kill. 
especially those guys, these guys are probably going to successfully round. I mean, we've got a good amount of them. These guys are going to round just fine. Go up here after these guys, I guess. These feline. They are chasing them down, slowly. Yeah, they are tying them up. Yeah, they are just going to... They are going to escape. Still, it was a nine against their forces. 1,400 for the loss of 149 of mine. Oh, I don't want to fight it. I'm going to auto resolve it even though I'm going to lose a bunch of men. 800. <laughs> oh, I should have fought it, but sometimes you just can't fight so many little dribs and drabs. Dribs and drab battles. Yeah, the Mughals didn't destroy. The Marathas didn't destroy the Mughal army, so now they've got a raiding army problem. Where's Denmark still owns Norway? Sweden hasn't done the ass kicking. Is Mir's blockaded so we didn't make as much money as I would like? So let's start to make a few. Actually, what navy is this? It's Jebek. To be honest, I think all my ships are all low quality. I've not really built any good ships for a while. Although it's not blockading much of our trade. Newtown. Uh, Kozani in Rumelia. Uh, let's make it a craft workshop. Actually, I might even cancel building that help fund the need for these forces to go on a on a raid to clear out these guys. Let's make let's take half the stack of one artillery piece. Actually let's take take a core infantry group because they can fire fire by rank. Let's take some of our bashies. Camel unit and a gun unit. And we will go and engage these devils. I'm probably going to have to fight it manually, so I'm going to do it now. It's not return on that kind of fight. I really want to fight all these smaller battles, but you know, with so many. Deploy the force. the desert warriors my own speed up time a little bit these are all feline so they don't do square formation which is a bit unfortunate and no one's going to do fire by rank let's run my feline away because a big auto square formation Probably. There you go. You guys march out on the flank. You guys march out on a flank so they don't get the advantage of the wall. Send the bashies in. Advance these guys in as normal. Too bad they're losing. Their nomads are escaping. Camels A 
aren't close enough to, to intervene. B, I'm not sure I'd want them to intervene. So let's get our Felian units on the flank. Ah, Bashies, run away! So if these guys respond to these men on the flank, then I advance my main line up. They are slaughtering them from the flank. Oh dear, they can advance into fire by rank. Fire, go on. 13th water, take them out. Oh yeah, fire ranks not, fire at will's not on. Fire. Second rank. Third rank, fire! So let's take these guys up. Bashi's doing a great job against the camels. Continue. Oh, fire. There you go. Let's just take him out. Take him out as much as possible, at least. Should probably deploy more cavalry to my anti-raiding troop task force, but whatever, we live and learn. Maybe even faster cavalry would have been better, rather than camels. Yeah, they're going to successfully rout, so they'll probably fall back rather than be destroyed, which would be a shame, but close victory wasn't close. Yeah, we lost 96 for 539 of theirs. Awesome. Can this army actually leave Baghdad? I think it can. So what are you? Pikemen? Desert Warriors? A mixture? No, you, your guys, you, you were the guys we fought before. Feline. Musketeers. I think we figured out where lots of these troops were funneling. Um, I think these guys need to stay in Baghdad. Just for now, in case they try anything silly. Um, I mean, even then, that's most of my muskets actually not there. So let's fall the unit back. Maybe replace the raiding party with Semenes. Awesome. Um, looking at the timer, that's definitely time to end the part. So, thanks for watching, guys. Hope you've enjoyed, and I'll see you next time.